My love. A handsome song. I can't get it tonight. Alright, we're back. This is something special. Alright, this is, in my opinion, scratch that. This is the best ride in all of mixed martial arts when against the cage. Who am I bringing back in? Who do you think? Who do you think it was gonna be? Now guess who's on camera? I'll give you two seconds. One eternity later. Larry Burner. The king of the camera. Let's move it to the wall. I got this from studying Khabib Nurmagomedov. And in my opinion, using it in training, I've never seen anything more controlled. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna have my partner up against the wall here, right? Now I'm making a slight adjustment that's preferential to me. You can experiment with two different ways. I'll show you right now. So your partner's against the wall, your controlling position. The number one thing before we start working our rides in, in our legs, we have to make sure that we're driving our hips against the wall. I wanna pin Rich's hips against the wall, right? My, between my hips and the wall. Now this is how Khabib does it, ready? You know I like the small details, I'm obsessed with the micro, right? He likes to grab, and start to frame off your elbow, so yeah, he's here, he likes to grab here and throw the hook in, like this. I find that to be terribly difficult, okay? So I'm gonna make an adjustment, this is the Stephen Williams one, but everything else is the same after that, after the point of getting my, my far hook in. So I'm here, I'm controlling, what am I doing? I'm hitting him, I'm driving my hips against the wall, so against the wall and forward. Now, what do you guys think? Why am I driving Rich forward? I want to keep Rich's hands on the mat. If I just drive Rich's hips against the wall, he can start to head up. See that? And hand fight. There we go, stand up. So what I don't want to do is just rely on pressure against the wall. I want to pressure him against the wall, but I'm also driving him into his hands. While I'm doing this, I'm letting go hard shots to the side of the head, under the armpit, maybe a few behind the head, and then look where my hands go, right? So this is the Stephen Williams way as opposed to the Khabib way. I'm gonna grab the near side wrist, and I'm gonna grab a wrist ride, an inside wrist ride on the forehand. Now watch my left leg. I'm gonna flick my left hook in, and notice what I do with my right foot. I'm gonna figure four my legs. See this, I got a figure four on the near side leg, an inside wrist ride on the far side. So now there's a polarity of control, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm driving my hips forward, which is elongating Rich's left leg, and I'm drawing his wrist towards his stomach. Just look at the position, guys. There's no way he can build back up to stand up. And from here, I'm punching, I'm punching. Let's stand up, sit, really chop. Sit. Car chop, he's not gonna be able to get up. I see far too many fighters doing this, relying on upper body rise and not using their legs enough. In folk style wrestling and wrestling, we call this a parallel ride. What I'm doing is called a parallel ride. Uh, what I usually train my guys in, Larry used this in his last fight. If I can find the clip, I'll link it. He uses the Iowa ride a lot. So we sit on the, it's very Ben Askren is, right? We like to sit on the leg and hit, but the issue is, if the guy's able to slide this leg out, we're kind of back to square one. So, what does Khabib do also? Let's go, let's go on a tangent real quick. What else does he do? He goes double underhooks, stand, start to get onto your hands, and he does this a lot, all right? And we'll, we'll get into that in, in another time. But the issue with that, with that positioning is it's not, not that it's not amazing, but he can easily start to circle his hips away from the cage. See that? That happens a lot, all right? And then he can step around my leg, and I start losing position. I don't want that to happen for obvious reasons. So, I want you guys to drill this as soon as, as soon as you get into the gym. What am I doing? I'm driving these hips into the wall, I'm driving these hips forward, right, I'm on them, I'm hitting them, I'm grabbing right on the wrist, I'm grabbing inside wrist right, I'm flicking my near side hooking, I'm on the ball of my right foot. On the ball of my right foot, I step through, I figure four. I stay on the ball of my right foot. I'm driving my hips forward, elevating my left knee off of the mat, and drawing Rich's right hand in towards the stomach. There's three things going on. So hips forward, left knee off the mat, his hand towards his chest, his right hand. So watch, watch how it all links together. See? See that? And then when he tries to build, by the time he finally even starts to get any semblance of a defensive posture, he's already so dinged up. I'm hitting him behind the ear, behind the ear. If he gets onto his hand, if he's strong enough to get there, I'm punching him under the armpit. That's been in my 
opinion, the best riding position against the cage that I've discovered so far. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Rich, I appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Make sure you guys subscribe. We have plenty more coming your way. All right, subscribe. Fight. Well, today you're up against the Ting Brothers. You want to fight? Fight with me.